Hey YouTube, so this video is the weekly tarot pool for the week of September 23rd, Sunday, September 23rd, 2018, through Saturday, September 29th. Um, last week I failed to do my pool. I apologize, I had too much going on. Um, so... We're going to get back into it. We're going to start with the earth signs. As you guys know, I write the cards down as I go. I'm using my new deck, so I will have to refer to the book. But, um, <clears throat> the earth signs are Taurus, Virgo, and Cap Capricorn. Okay? So, we're going to pull a card for you guys and see what we got going on this upcoming week. Alright? And, disclaimer, you hear the children in the background working on school projects. Can you lower your voice? Alright, so let me find the thing. I'll read it to you, and then I'll show you the card. And I'll tell you what I'm getting. Okay, so the first card is the Great Spirit Walkin' Tonkin, and it is the Miracle card. The message itself is, you have access to power and wisdom beyond human understanding. Ask, wait, and listen. And it's reversed. So I feel like this week you're going to have a situation that comes to, um, you know, that comes to hand that you're not going to be able to have control over, and you're going to have to wait. Um, it's going to be a situation that is very frustrating for you. It brings worry, and you're unsure how to basically handle this situation in general. If you step back and um, step back out of what you would normally look at, um, out, you know, look at it from a different point of view, I think you could find a solution. If not, be patient, because the answer in itself will be right around the corner. Layla, hush! My dog's going crazy. <clears throat> okay. So, uh, next, I think we're gonna do fire signs. Um, I had to write that down. So, fire signs, which would be um, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Okay, and you got the totem card. I only know that one because I pull it frequently last night. So, you got the totem card. And again, that's for the fire signs. And that is number 31. So, let me see what it means. So, I am being genuine. Um, it's the belonging card, and it says, when you are uncertain or w of which action to take, look at your own totem, whether personal or shared. Acknowledge your core beliefs and act accordingly. I feel like you need to, um, trust in your faith. Uh, whatever situation comes about that shakes you to your core, trust in your faith. By trusting in your faith... You're allowing for the universe, the gods, the goddesses, you know, to put you where you need to be. To get you through the situation so that you are where you should be in life at that specific time. As opposed to trying to push it yourself so that you can't make the situation work in its best, okay? <clears throat> so, that's it for the fire signs. The next is the uh, air signs. Um, just concentrating on a card, sorry. Gemini, Libra, and I think it's Aquarius. Okay, and I believe this is the Hawk, if I'm not mistaken. And it is reversed. And it means. Oh no, it's the Falcon. I'm, I apologize. It means success. Um, the message itself, rise above petty concerns and focus on what is important. I think the message for this is, um, you know, you're going to have people coming at you from different angles. And it's going to be petty stuff. It's going to be jealousy. It's going to be, 
you know, trying to cause the issues or get inside your head, um, don't give them the power over you to do that. By allowing them to have that power, you're allowing them to control a portion of your life. And if you kind of just take a stand of, I'm not dealing with this, uh, you just kind of need to move on and get out of my face. You're able to take the control back. You're able to move back to where you were initially and push forward to where you need to be. Okay? And that was for the air signs, you guys. So the last sign <coughs> is water. And those are water, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Um, so we have Earth has wisdom coming. You know, you're going to have to use your wisdom in all situations. You're going to have to make sure you're paying attention to the things around you working towards the goals you want to reach, not allowing people to hold you back, and looking at things from different angles. This allows for the broadened horizon of your wisdom to come to surface and be used. And you also have fire elements, they have belonging. Um, this is where you're going to have situations coming to you where you need to find your belonging. You kind of have to trust yourself, know where you belong, know what where you need to be in that moment in time, and you'll be alright. And then we have the falcon, or air signs, and that is success. People are going to try to keep you from succeeding, and you can't allow them to do that. You're going to have to uh, trust in yourself. Don't give people the ability, no matter who it may be, family, friends, anybody, don't give them the ability to hold you back in any situation at all, okay, so, water, you got the drum, and that is consistency, and it is upright, and the message from this card itself is find your own inner, inner rhythm, and let it flow, and live and change while remaining uniquely your own. And I think what it's going to say, what it's saying for you is you have people coming um, into your life. And it may be people that are already in your life. Um, you know, they're, they're trying to control you. They're trying to keep you um, at a certain level. They don't understand you and who you are or things of that nature. And the best thing for you to do is to remain constant in all that you're doing. If you're at work and people are trying... Um, to <laughs> cause problems, continue to remain constant in all that you're doing. Uh, I obviously can't multitask, I'm trying to write it down. Um, <laughs> you know, being consistent is what's going to push us through life in general, and this isn't just something for the water signs. Being consistent is what's going to push you through life in general. And sometimes changing it up helps us reach the goal we need to be at. But this week, for water signs, you need to remain consistent. I feel if you were to push too hard, you would actually end up causing yourself more problems as opposed to helping yourself. Okay? So be consistent in all that you're doing. Being there for family, being there for friends. You know, make sure you're taking time for yourself and things like that. To all my signs, to all my viewers, all my subscribers, you guys, make, make sure you're taking just a little bit of time for yourself. Try not to get inside of your head. Clear your mind. Make sure you're grounding, becoming one with the universe. Make sure you're pampering yourself so that you feel worthy of yourself. Uh, often we tend to get so focused on moving through time and focusing on so much of... You know, the universe, my hair is all jacked up. <laughs> um, the universe and what people expect and things like that, that we lose sight of ourselves. And one thing I learned this past week is I've got to stop doing that. It, it no longer matters who you are, what you think, regardless of your family, friend, foe, it doesn't matter. As long as at the end of the day, I can look at myself and say, I did my best. And that's how I'm going to start living. I'm not going to keep trying to please other people. If you don't like decisions I personally make and you're a subscriber, I hate to say this, but you can go elsewhere. I love the support. I love all my fans. I love all my followers. You know, I love everybody. 
But I'm not going to keep begging people to be in my life and keep changing myself for other people. Okay? And I feel like that's something we all need to do. Stop worrying about other people and do for ourselves. Make sure you're taking care of yourself and your kids first and then move on about your business. If your kids are grown, stop putting your nose in their business to the point that it is interfering with your life or theirs. Now, I don't have this problem, but some people do. Um, just be happy within yourself. I'm there to a point. I have much work to do. But I'm not going back. I'm not going to have another week like I had this week, you guys. Everybody has a good week ahead as long as we use our brains. Um, and we don't let other people influence what we're doing. Uh, as a whole, there's a lot of success in finding ourselves within the week. And we can do it. You know? So, I will see y'all next video. Yes. Um, check out my Dollar Tree haul. There's two parts to it because I'm not technology savvy. <laughs> and I had gotten a phone call and I had to finish recording. So there was a long version and then the short version to finish it up. Um, tonight we're going to be making breakfast for dinner. I'll probably go live for that. Uh, uh, just to bring y'all in a day in the life of us and my crazy crew. So y'all have a blessed day and I will... See y'all next video. Bye.